Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute, Gospel Minute Live. I'm Steve Toby, and uh, today is the 27th of March, and it is the feast day of the holy uh, martyr Matrona of uh, Thessalonica. This martyr was the servant of a certain Jewish woman named Pentilla, the wife of the governor of Thessalonica. When Matrona refused to follow her mistress into the synagogue, Pantella beat her so severely that she died in a few days and thus received the crown of her confession. And the Apolitikion of Matrona of Thessalonica. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love. And seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die, that I may live in thee, except me offered out of longing to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls through her intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let's go to Kurt. One click. One clicker. One clicker. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind, with the pure light of that divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of that gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of that blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God. And unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, and thine all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our epistle this evening is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 12 through 16. You can follow along on pages 16, 56, and 57 of your Orthodox study book. <coughs> Beware, brethren lest there be any of you an evil heart or unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. While it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as in the rebellion. For who, having heard, rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt, led by Moses? The word of the Lord. <clears throat> and our gospel this evening is taken from the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 35 through 44. You can follow along on page 13, 31, and 32 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Let us attend. Now, in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him, and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. 
the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Just a quick note uh, on chapter 1, verse 35. Jesus sets forth for us an example of spiritual life. Though God incarnate, he prayed continually, often finding a solitary place to be free from distraction, despite the multitude's need of him. Our Lord's ministry comes forth from his communion with the Father and the Holy Spirit and flows to people and their needs. His praying in the morning teaches us that we must put as our first priority our commitment to God, and then only will we be equipped to serve others. Now, I have two notes on, on that gospel. Uh -huh. One, he touched the leper. Which is making him unclean. Exactly, right. making him unclean. But that doesn't bother him in the, in the least bit. Uh, touching a leper made you unclean. And uh, you would be have to be put into quarantine yourself, like the lepers were. You go through a cleansing process. Right. Yeah. And the second thing I want to point out is he says, go, go show yourself to the priest and tell no one. And that's part of what they call the messianic secret. Jesus will do these healings and tell them, tell no one. Don't tell anybody. Most of them and, just went out and said, ah, oh, Jesus yeah, healed for years. Yeah, got healed <laughs> by this guy named Jesus. Yeah. Well, the reason Jesus was uh, telling people not to uh, uh, tell anyone was because he was afraid that uh, they would uh, declare him the Messiah, which he was. Mm -hmm. but not the Messiah they were looking for. They were looking for this political Messiah, this political leader who would free uh, Israel from the Roman rule. And he, he was afraid that might incite a, uh, a civil war. He didn't want that. Mm -hmm. You know, he had his own plan. And uh, so he didn't want the people to think he was that great Messiah who was going to throw out the Romans and uh, set up a new kingdom because that was not his plan. His kingdom, his plan was to set up a new kingdom, true, which will come, but not in the sense that the Jewish people thought about it. So he told them, don't tell anybody. So two notes, two notes. Okay. Okay. I... Uh, one other note, one other oh, note. Yeah. Now, you'll, folks, you'll notice that when I make the sign of the cross, I go to my hairline. But Kurt goes quite a bit higher because... He doesn't have a hairline. <laughs> well, I kind of do right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we will see you on Monday. Monday. Have a blessed, blessed Sunday, everyone. So, you have a blessed Sunday, too, Kurt. And thank you so much. Thanks to you. Okay, bye. Bye. So, let me see here. Who's with us this evening? Johnny Milliburn, Jonathan Nichols, Catherine Houston. Good evening, everyone. Same message from all three of them. And over here, Joe Barbera. Greetings, Steve Pran Prayer Group. Oana, good evening to you. And over here, over here, Wilson Salviejo, good evening. And uh, Lord, we're praying for uh, Wilson Salviejo's uh, mother, Gregoria. She's 92 and not doing real well, Lord. So we pray, dear Lord, that you bring her back to good health and give us a few more years from Mother Gregoria. We pray for that. Amen. Maria Kukadakis, good evening. Good evening to you, Maria Kukadakis, and we're praying for the health of your grandson. Amen. Nellie Cartvelli, Ruthie Johnson, Maria, Maria G. I'll get that name one of these days. Joanne Manaski, Anna Gennaro, Robin Armstrong, Dottie Thomas, good evening to you. Back from Cleveland, Dottie rang the bell. She rang the bell. She had her last uh, chemotherapy treatment up in Cleveland, cancer-free, and Lord, we pray that she stays cancer-free. And by the way, we're praying for the health of her son, Ben. We're praying for Ben, Lord, amen. And Christina Hunter, and Christina asked, good evening, Steve, uh, everyone. Steve, have you any news from Lena May? I pray she is doing well. I really miss her. And I have not had any news 
Last I heard from her was yesterday morning when uh, she asked me to pray for her, and she was on her way to uh, uh, the University of Pennsylvania, and I am assuming that was to the uh, uh, medical center there. And uh, so um, it was just, and all I had was a phone recording. I, I returned the call, but she didn't answer, and I left a, a message for her. So, Lord, we pray for Lena May. We pray that you return her to good health, Lord. For this we pray. We pray for her husband. We pray for her whole family, Lord. Comfort and console them and bring her back to us. Amen. Well, Lena May uh, has our daily meditation. And it's from St. Ephraim, the Syriac. Love is the capital of virtues, the cause of all good the salt of virtues. Blessed and thrice blessed are everyone who has obtained true and unhypocritical love. Amen. Saint Syrian, uh, Saint Ephraim the Syrian. Amen. Thank you. And let me see here. And let me see here. Oh, of course, Lord, we're praying for uh, Christina's cousin, Isabella. Lord, uh, Isabella died yesterday, and uh, she passed on to you, Lord. So we pray that you give her eternal life, uh, rest and peace and joy. And we pray for Irena, her mother, who's also in the hospital with the COVID-19. She has been intubated, and uh, the news I got from Christina is she's doing somewhat better. So we, prove, uh, we pray to her, Lord that she continues to improve and gets healed. We pray for that. We pray that you heal her. Amen. And let me see here. Anna Gennaro, Ruthie Johnson. We have been praying for my son Michael to come closer to the Lord. He went to his Orthodox church for confession tonight. Please keep praying. God is listening. Thank you all so much. And yes, we do pray for Michael every single day that he comes closer to you, Lord. And now he's gone to confession this evening at an Orthodox church. Thank you, Lord, so much. We continue to pray for Michael, Lord, that you send him the Holy Spirit to guide him and strengthen him and even inspire him in his faith. For this we pray. Amen. Now let's go back over here. Robert Ryan has joined us. Good evening to you, Robert. The peace of Christ to all. Amen. And Elder Millennial is with us. And are you back in Wyoming, Elder Millennial? Are you and Celeste? You're s now, Stella's doing better. We finally got dug out to go to liturgy. Great, good news. So um, now we're praying for Stella. That's Elder Millennial's sister. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, for her. Uh, she's recovering from surgery down in Colorado. So we pray for, we pray for a, Quick recovery for Stella, Lord. Amen. So, let me see. I think we've said hello to everybody. So let's go to our evening uh, prayers. There's our icon corner and our evening prayers. Let's pray together. Oh, no, we can't. We've got to study. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get this straight yet. I didn't have my Bible all ready. So evening prayers come in a few minutes here. Right now we're on chapter 27, I think. Yes, 27 of Proverbs. So Proverbs chapter 27. There we go. So, well, we've gone all the way up to chapter 27 of Proverbs. So chapter 27, verse 1. Do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what the next day will bring forth. Let your neighbor praise you and not your own mouth. Well, that's good words. A stranger and not your own lips. So let, let your neighbor praise you and not your own mouth. A stranger, let him praise you, but not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is cumbersome, but the wrath of a man without discernment is heavier than both. Wrath is merciless and anger passionate, but jealousy supports nothing. Open reproofs are better than hidden love. The wounds of a friend are more trustworthy than the voluntary kisses of an enemy. 
a satiated soul mocks honeycombs, but to a hungry soul even bitter things appear sweet. As when a bird flies down from its own nest, so is a man enslaved whenever he becomes a fugitive from his own place. The heart delights in perfumes, wines, and incenses, but the soul is broken by mishaps. Do not abandon your friend or the friend of your father, and when you have misfortune, do not go to your brother's house. A friend nearby is better than a brother far away. <coughs> Excuse me. My son, become wise, that my heart may be glad, and turn away from your reproachful words. An astute man hides when evils are at hand, but when men without discernment are at hand, they will pay the penalty. If a haughty man passes by, take away his garment, for he lays waste the goods of another. Whoever blesses a friend early in the morning with a loud voice, he will not seem different from one who curses him. Continual dripping on a rainy day drives a man from his house. In like manner, a contentious woman also drives a man from his own house. The north wind is a harsh wind, and a prosperous man is called harsh. Iron sharpens iron, and a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Whoever plants a fig tree will eat its fruit, and whoever guards his own master will be honored. As faces are not like other faces, so neither are the hearts of men. Hades and destruction are not satiated, and like manner the eyes of men are also insatiable. And we have a note on that. Verse 20. A fixed eye indicates an unbendable will, which refuses to be instructed in the virtues of wisdom. It never stops sinning. For example, and its intemperate use of its tongue, the sinful appetite, insatiable, of such a will is comparable to the appetite of Hades and destruction. Amen. Verse 21. He whose eye is fixed in an abomination is an abomination to the Lord, and the uninstructed are intemperate with the tongue. proving by fire is a way of testing for silver and gold. But a man is tested by the mouth of those who praise him. A lawless heart seeks evil things, but an upright heart seeks knowledge. If you should whip a man without discernment in the midst of the council and dishonor him, you would not remove his lack of discernment. Know thoroughly the souls of your sheep, and you will set your heart on your flock. Since strength and might are not in man forever, neither are they transmitted from generation to generation. Take care of the green plants in the field and cut the herbs short, and gather the grass of the mountains, that you may have the wool of sheep for clothing. Honor the field, so there may be lambs for you. My son, you have strong sayings from me from your, for your life, and for the life of your servants. Amen. And tomorrow, let me see, there's 31 chapters, I think, 31 chapters in Proverbs. Yep. So we're near the end. We're near the end. We're near the end. We have to find another home for us, I guess, another book, another book to read. Now we can go to our evening prayers. So let's go to our icon corner and our evening prayers, and let's pray together. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Now that the day has come to a close, I thank thee, O Lord, and I ask that the evening with the night may be sinless. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now that the day is past, I glorify thee, O Master, and I ask that the evening with the night may be without offense. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day is run its course, I praise thee, O Holy One, and I ask that the evening with the night may be undisturbed. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our God, if during this day I have sinned, whether in word or deed or thought, forgive me all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Grant me peaceful and undisturbed sleep, and deliver me from all influence and temptation of the evil one. Raise me up again in proper time, that I may glorify thee, for thou art blessed with thine only begotten Son, and thine all Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O Christ our God, who at all times and in every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, who art long-suffering and merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress, encompass us with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Now this is where we put in our own prayer request, but before we go on with our prayer list, I just want to remind everybody that... Uh, this prayer list will go on God's altar tomorrow for the Divine Liturgy at St. Michael's. So, yeah, it'll be right there in front of God himself. Amen. So, Lord, we ask that you remember those that we are about to pray for this evening and those we prayed for this morning, Lord. Amen. Now, Anna Gennaro asks to pray for Catherine for her health, and we pray for Ka Anna's uh, brother Joseph, that you keep him safe, and restore his hearing in that left ear, Lord. We pray for that. We pray for Anna's son-in-law, Daniel, um, that he has an increase in faith and comes closer to you. We pray for Anna's special intention. We pray for Tina, who's recovering from surgery. We pray for Morris, 
who is now recovering from the COVID-19, and we thank you for that, Lord. We pray for Vizario, who suffers from dementia and is near death, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, for him, that um, when and if he passes, um, we pray that he finds eternal life, rest, and peace with you. Joe Barbera asked to pray for Janice and Jean, his sister and brother-in-law, and Bud and Loretta, his uh, brother and sister-in-law. We pray for their health. We pray for the health of Joe Barbera, and we thank him, and we thank you for all the good that uh, Joe has done in our group. Thank you. Stuart Jones has to pray for his health and for the health of his mother and brother, and we pray for all of his family up there in Seattle, Washington. We pray for the health of David Fox, and we pray for Daniel and his family and Damien and his wife. We pray for their health, Lord, and we pray for the health of Aunt Sylvia over in the U.K., we pray for her, dear Lord. And uh, she's struggling during this uh, COVID-19 lockdown they have over there, Lord. Please come to her. And we pray for Patty. Patty suffered a stroke, Lord, and she's recovering. We pray that you speed up her recovery and give her a full, full recovery from that stroke. Wilson Salviejo has to pray for him, that the treatments he's receiving for his lower back are successful, and that uh, you relieve his pain. We pray especially this evening for his mother, Gregoria, a 92-year-old woman who's not doing very well physically and health-wise, Lord. We pray that you come to her and uh, bring her back to good health. We pray for Wilson's uh, brother, Donald. We pray for his nephews, Ken and Kyer, for his sister-in-law, Rochelle, for his Aunt Rose, and for his mother's caregiver, Stella. We pray, dear Lord, that you protect them all and keep them from all harm, sickness, and disease especially the COVID-19. And we pray for Stefan Bennett, that you keep him safe and healthy in all his travels. And we pray for his family, for his children, Christy, Kara, Justin, Kayla, and Warren, and for his wife, Kendra. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep them healthy and safe and strong. And Lord, we pray for the health of Kendra's mother. Stacy Bellis asks to pray for the health of Amy. And we pray for Stacy's uh, husband Brian and their children, Yanni, Kiriakos, Anastasia, Yakovos, and Mihailos. And Lord, we pray that you keep them healthy and growing in faith, and we pray for the health of Amy's, or Stacy's brother-in-law. Jay Russell asked to pray for the health of Tim and Debbie Moses, for Mia Wagner, and Arabella Wagner Rawlings. We pray for their health, their health Lord. And we also pray that you keep little Jackson cancer-free. We have the same prayer for Slater Bushman and Olivia Weatherford, Lord. Two children that we pray you keep them cancer-free after healing them. And we pray for healing for little Elijah, Jim Jackson, Carl Johnson, Don, Claire Routing, and Father uh, James Rosselli. They all suffer from cancer, Lord. And we pray that you heal them. Amen. We also pray for the health of Tom Gall and John Etcher. Lord, Elena Sheldahl asks to pray that she continues to trust in you, and for this we pray. Deborah asks to pray for her grandchildren, and uh, we pray for them. We pray for the health of Kristen, who suffered from um, thyroid cancer, and we pray for a loved one of Deborah's who suffers from an addiction. We pray for that loved one, and we pray for Deborah. Maria Kukadakis. Good evening, Maria. Well, she asks us to pray for the health of her grandson, and we pray for the health of Maria also, Lord. Amen. Keep them both well. Alita Hagos asks to pray for the health of Manal, and Lord, we pray for Alita's children, and we pray for Alita. Keep them all healthy, Lord. Amen. Rob King asks to pray for his children and grandchildren, that they come home in faith to you. For this we pray. We pray for Rob. He has a health problem, Lord, and we pray that you heal him and uh, lead him to a full recovery. We pray for uh, Rob's two sisters, Dixie and Virginia, Lord. We pray that you send the Holy Spirit to Dixie to give, give her guidance and strength as she battles in an addiction. We pray for uh, Virginia. Uh, Virginia has a reoccurrence of uh, lung cancer, Lord. We pray that you heal her and we pray that you heal her broken hip. We pray for uh, 
a friend of uh, Rob's down in Florida, Greg, he suffers from ALS, Lord. And that's Lou Gehrig's disease, and we pray that you heal him. And in a few minutes, Lord, we'll be praying for Larry Larson. He also suffers from um, ALS and Lou Gehrig's disease. We pray that you heal them both, Lord, and relieve their suffering. For this we pray, amen. We, we pray for the health of Michael and Kelly Hatton, and we pray for their, we pray for the health of their daughter as well. We pray for Art James and his health, Lord, and we pray for Art's special intention. Lori Miller asks to pray for her grandson, Logan, that he makes good decisions in his life, and we pray that he comes to you in faith. We pray also for Jessica, who suffers from kidney failure. Stravula Batskos asks to pray for the health of Marie. And, Lord, she asks us also to pray for Simeon, her father-in-law, who suffers from cancer. And... Uh, Struvula tells me that they just went to the doctor with her father-in-law, Simeon, and uh, they were amazed, the doctors were amazed that he was still alive, still alive. Um, and uh, Struvula said, that just shows the power of prayer. So let's keep praying and keep Simeon going, Lord. Amen. And Struvula also asked to pray for Demetrios, who's uh, recovering from a very serious surgery, Lord. We pray for a full recovery for him. Connie Devados asks to pray for her children and grandchildren that they come home to the Orthodox Church, Lord, and uh, grow in faith in you. We pray for the health of Evangelina. We pray for a miracle healing for Jeff, Lord. Amen. And we pray for uh, the health of Gigi, Kathy, and Jeannie. We pray for Nancy, who's recovering from the COVID-19. We pray for Sandra, who's passed away from the COVID-19. And we pray for Emily, who had a heart attack and died, Lord. Emily was 14 years old. So, Lord, we pray that Sandra and Emily find eternal life, rest, and peace with you. And uh, Connie also asked to pray for the members of our armed forces and our first responders. And she has a special intention that we are praying for. Nelly Cartvelli asks us to pray for Cotney, that you keep Cotney healthy and, and safe from that COVID-19. Cotney's in Germany, and the spike, uh, COVID-19 is spiking once again there. And Lord, we pray for the health of Nelly, and we pray that you heal her eyes and restore her vision. We pray for Stel Yo, that you keep him safe and protected, Lord, uh, while at work. We pray that uh, you relieve his worry and anxiety. We pray for his special intention. We pray for his brother, Peter, and Peter's family. We pray for them. And uh, we pray for Stelio's friend and my friend, Sultana. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep her healthy. We pray for the health of her family. And we pray that she comes to you in faith. For this we pray. And, Lord, we Stelio asked to pray for Father... Uh, uh, Nectarios, Father Theodore, and Father Epiphanius. We pray for their health and their ministries, Lord. Amen. Colleen asks to pray for the health of Clay, and we pray for Sheila and Stephanie as well, and we pray for Colleen's special intention. David Sauls asks to pray for the Aid and El Assad families and Shaz and Zephyrin. They're all in Lebanon and in Syria, Lord. We pray that you protect them. We pray for the health of Dr. Nagala and Maria Shalikova. And we pray, dear Lord, for Fatima Muhammad, that she stays strong in her faith. Uh, we pray for our brother Christopher Bundros and for his family, Shirley, Christopher, Joseph, Matthew, and Faith. And we pray for all of our families, Lord, that they stay strong in their faith in you. We pray for the health of John, Liza, John, Carrie, Gibran, Annabelle, and Gregory. And Lord, we pray for Mora that you heal her of cancer. We pray for Michael, Michael, Gabrielle, Andrew, Joanna, Zoe, and Anthony. We pray, dear Lord, uh, that they come closer to the church and closer to you. And we pray for uh, Sony, dear Lord, that uh, Sony, uh, that you protect her from the COVID-19 and keep her in good health. We pray for Marcia. Marcia suffers from cancer and other health uh, conditions, Lord. We pray for healing for her and relief from her suffering and pain. We pray for her husband and two daughters, and we thank you for them. 
they have taken such good care of Marcia over the uh, years. And Lord, uh, we pray especially for Rachel, who has health conditions and still makes that six-hour trip from Austin, Texas, up to northern Texas to take care of her mother on the weekends. We thank you and we pray for uh, Rachel's health, Lord. We pray for Evan. That's Marcia's son down in Arizona. Uh, we pray that you relieve his worry and anxiety. And Lord, we pray for his family. And Lord, we pray for and we thank you for the healing that you gave to little Violetta, Viol Violet. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep her healthy. And thank you for healing her heart. Kurt Lytle asked to pray for Betty Baird for her health. And we pray, dear Lord, for the health and well-being of Kurt's daughters, Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole. And Lord, we pray for Kurt, that you keep him safe while he's making all these trips around t Tennessee. Lord, we pray for him. We pray for the health of Katie. We pray for Jim Parsons and his health. We pray for David Russell, who suffers from cancer. And we pray for Don Myers. He also suffers from cancer, Lord, and he's in hospice. We pray that you... Uh, Bring him peace and everlasting life. Amen. We pray for the health of Gail, Father Benedict, for the monks of the Holy Cross Monastery, for Christina over in Jakarta and her children, and Coach Josh Harris and his health. Albert Brassard. Lord, we pray for Albert. He's suffering from COVID-19 and diabetes. And uh, he has uh, complications from diabetes, Lord. So we pray that you restore him to good health and heal him from this COVID-19 and his uh, complications from diabetes. And Lord, we pray for his friend, David, who suffers from pancreatic cancer. We pray for healing for David. We pray for his wife, Sharon, and his son, Joshua. We pray for Mary, who suffers from dementia. We pray for the health of Joseph. Robert Ryan asked to pray for Kathy Sanders and Kathy Kovac. And I'm so grateful, Lord, that we can now pray, please keep them cancer-free. And we pray for the health of Marie Cassidy. We pray for Bridget and her daughter. And we pray for all of those suffering from loneliness and anxiety, signs of depression, Lord. And we pray for Robert Ryan. And we pray for uh, Larry Larson, as I mentioned earlier, uh, suffers from ALS, and uh, that's Lou Gehrig's disease. We pray for healing for him. We pray for Leo Fox as he continues to improve after his stroke, and we thank you for the progress he has made. We pray for Leo's uh, wife, Phyllis. She was in the hospital for quite a while, in rehab also. And Lord, we pray, for, uh, we pray that you uh, heal her heart and strengthen her. We pray for healing for Phyllis, Lord. We pray for Ian Cassidy, who suffers from uh, epilepsy, Lord. And we pray for uh, Robert Ryan himself, that you heal him of walking pneumonia, that you uh, grant him a good night's sleep tonight, Lord. He needs that. And we pray that he finds a better job, and we pray for his brother. Amen. Bessie Carnes asked to pray for Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie suffers from cancer, and we pray for Ronnie that you heal her. Bessie also asked to pray for her mother, Effie, who had some problems, um, and she was going to be in the hospital for a few days. I haven't heard back, but uh, Effie had been filling up with fluids, making it hard to breathe. breathe. So uh, she had to go to the hospital a little bit. We pray that she's out, and she's home, and she's well. We pray for that. Darlene Ann asked to pray for uh, Jordan, Felicia, and for Felicia's son, Kate and Michael. We pray for Les, who suffers from lymphoma. Vicki Winter asks to pray for the health of her parents, Martha and Jimmy. Lord, we pray that you relieve Martha's pain. We pray that she will not need hip surgery. We pray for uh, Vicki's husband, Earl, and we pray for his business. We pray for the health of Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins and Zach, Lord. And we pray for Lindsay, that you keep her healthy and safe. And we pray for Lindsay's friend, Donna. Donna suffers from shingles, Lord. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you uh, relieve Donna's pain. Amen. Earl Winter asks to pray for Drew, who's passed away from brain cancer, Lord. We pray that Drew has found eternal life and rest and peace and joy with you. Amen. 
Stacy Ioano asked to pray for her sister Bonita, that you send her the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen her as she fights an addiction. We pray, dear Lord, for um, their sister Stacy and Bonita's sister Barbara, and uh, and Barbara's family. We pray for their mother Kathleen, who suffers from a lung problem. Lord, we pray that you heal her. And we pray for Kathleen's husband Dennis. Ruthie Johnson asks to pray for her family. And Lord, we pray especially for Katie, her daughter, and Katie's two small children. And uh, we pray for the health of Ruthie's husband, Phil. We pray for her brother, Jim, and for her brother, Danny. We pray for all of their health, Lord. Amen. And we pray for Michael, as we do every day, Lord, that he has an increase in faith. And Lord, we thank you. He went to confession, and uh, we thank you so much for that. And maybe the start of something new. And we pray for Philip, Lord, as he battles an addiction. We pray that you send him the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen him. We pray for uh, Ruthie's uh, niece, Tricia, and her family, Matthew and Kevin. Amen. Christina Hunter. Ask to pray for her parents, Tamara and Doranelle, and we pray especially for the health of uh, Christina's mother, that uh, you, you heal her of her physical problems. She has problems with her thyroid and gallbladder, Lord. We pray for a healing for her. We pray for Irina, Irina who is, uh, suffers from COVID-19, is intubated and in the hospital, and uh, but things are starting to turn a little bit around the corner, Lord, and it looks like she may be, she is getting better. We pray for that, Lord. We pray that you heal her. And we pray for Isabella, who passed away yesterday, Lord. We pray that uh, she has found eternal life. Rest in peace with you. Amen. And yesterday was her birthday, and as Christina told the children, you know, Aunt Isabella is going to have a big birthday party in heaven. Amen. Diane, we pray for Diane Cavaleros, who suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray for healing for her. And we pray for Aunt Stefania, who's passed away. And we pray that she has found eternal life and rest with you. We pray for Robert Edwards, who's uh, recovering from a, uh, a stroke, Lord. And we pray that you restore to him the use of his left hand and left arm. We pray for Alexander Mihalichinko and his two brothers, Serge and Nicholas. We pray for their health. Uh, Lord, and we pray that they stay strong in their faith. And we pray for the health of Noah as well. Joseph Worth asks to pray for Bishop Daniel and his health. Laurie Chambers asks us to pray for uh, Nathaniel, her son, and Daryl, her husband. We pray for them, Lord, keep them healthy. And we pray for little Kelsey Elizabeth, that newborn baby who's premature, but now she's home. And uh, Lord, we pray that she grows up to be a very healthy uh, Christian Orthodox young lady. We pray, pray for that. And Nick Salvador asks to pray for Debbie. Debbie suffers from cancer, Lord, and we pray for healing for Debbie. Now let's go around and see if there's any other prayer requests. And Jonathan Nichols says, wow. Oh, just a minute. And uh, Jonathan Nichols says, has anyone heard from Clara Routing? How is she doing? Well, I talked to her last week, and uh, she, she uh, she's doing about the same, just about the same. She's still got all those health problems, so just about the same. And Stella is doing well, Elder Millennial tells me. She's a, uh, a girl down in, uh, the woman down in uh, uh, Colorado who had that surgery, Elder Millennial's sister. And he said, pray for her kids. Going stir crazy, I bet they are. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, Stella's children. We pray for them, dear Lord, that you keep them occupied. Amen. Amen, Lord. And... Uh, Catherine Houston says, Jonathan, I also was thinking about Claire today. That's Claire Routing. Wow, 
That's God. Praying for Claire, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy and blessings of health and peace on Claire Routing, in Jesus' name. And Jonathan Nichols says, thank you. And let me see, over here. Nothing? And Dottie Thomas says, sorry, folks. Had to drive home from my daughter's and had no connection in the car. Just now back. We'll pray for all the needs. Love you all. We love you. Amen. Let me see here. And Anna Gennaro. Uh, Lord have mercy. Prayers for Lucia, and may her memory be eternal, and that she finds eternal rest with you, O Lord. Prayers for her family and friends and for the Lord to give them strength during this terrible, terrible time. And Ruthie did. And Karen Karlanovich says, Good evening, Steve and sweet prayer group. It's been a long day, but I'm here. Amen. Ah. Oh. Ruthie Johnson. Please pray for a beautiful eighth grade girl, Lucia, who was murdered and died on Friday. Lucia was a student in Katy School District in Virginia. Prayers for the family and friends. Lord have mercy. Lord, we pray for Lucia. We pray for her family. Oh, Lord, we pray that you bring us peace. Peace, Lord. And end to all this violence. An end to it, Lord. We pray for this. We pray that Lucia has found eternal life with you. And we pray that you comfort and console her family. Amen. And Sharon Toby says, Good evening, everyone, and another gorgeous day. Even Max is enjoying himself running around outside tonight. Joseph Khalil, with our Bible verses from Jeremiah, chapter 31. And with supplications I will lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way in which they shall not stumble. Amen. Now, now notice he says, and with supplications I will lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way in which they shall not stumble. Amen. The Lord hears our supplications. He hears our prayers. He hears our calls uh, for uh, mercy. And so, and he will lead us. Just don't, don't turn away, please. Okay. Well, Lord, we ask that you remember all those that we have prayed for this evening and those that we prayed for this morning. We pray, dear Lord, that you extend your healing hands on all of those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing and we ask you for your love as we give you our love. And Lord, we pray that the Most Holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, adds our prayers and intentions to her prayers when she prays. And we pray that our Saint of the Day, the Holy Martyr Matrona, adds our prayers and intentions to her prayers when she prays. O oh, Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, Visit and heal your servants, those we have prayed for this morning and those we have prayed for this evening, Lord, granting them release from pain and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, I'll see you again tomorrow morning for morning prayers. That's at 8 a.m. And then tomorrow night, uh, we got some special programming. It's our Sunday night of it, edition of the uh, Gospel Minute Live. And we're going to meet er, uh, Amy and Eric 
uh, Green from Virginia, and uh, they're going to tell us their story about coming to the Orthodox faith. So that'll be great. That'll be interesting. So until tomorrow night, there's two things you have to remember. One, that God loves you, and he really does. And two, that I love you, and I really do, and I thank you for being an inspiration in my life. Now may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good night, folks. Oh, give thanks unto you.